Hi everyone, in today's video I show you different microphones for speech recognition with a special focus on a teleradiology or home office setup for radiology and we will have a clear winner at the end of this so stay tuned until the end and let's jump right in. Okay, so basically there are two different main categories of what you can use for speech recognition. And this is either a handheld device or something like a headset for dictation. So let's first have a look at something like this. This is a uh, handheld uh, precision microphone. You have these different buttons that you can and use and you just have it in your left hand typically, depending on which hand you need for your mouse. One hand is on the mouse, one hand is here. So you know all of this, so I don't have to tell you something new here. So you work like this. And the advantage of this uh, setup is that if you need to stand up and move around a lot, you need to take a lot of calls, you need to go to ultrasound a lot, you need to go to the CT, to the MR, and you know, then it's easier to just put down and walk away. So that's really one of the advantages of this handheld. But the big disadvantage, in my opinion, and that's why it's not working in a home setup or for teleradiology is that your hand is kind of like stuck on this device and you cannot really at the same time use the keyboard and the different shortcuts to move around in your pack system or on your wrist. And this is a big disadvantage because if you always have this and then if you want to type something or you want to make a correction in your report or you just want a window with some shortcuts you always have to put it down and then you have to put your hand on here so i don't like this um if you are working from home and report from home or you know exclusively in teleradiology where you can work uninterrupted for the most part of your day this is not a good idea so what are the alternatives and one of the alternatives is like i said a headset like this so you have the headset on you have both hands free one on the mouse one on the keyboard and you can just you know, um, report normally, you can use the, the button or the keys on the keyboard to window. You can also type simultaneously. You can just navigate much faster. So if you are looking to increase your efficiency and you're still using a handheld device from home or in a technology setup, this is a, a headset is the way to go. Not necessarily this one. And um, the problem with this one here, first of all, it has a cable, which is a little bit annoying sometimes because I roll over the cable with my uh, my, my chair and sometimes I, I kind of like I'm clumsy and then I kind of like pull it out and you can also see this uh, USB uh, so it's plugged in with USB I'm okay, I'm making uh, I can make it sharp but yeah it's a bit bended because I nearly broke it a couple of times already and so I was quite happy with this one here for a couple of years really it's a Sennheiser PC7 it's just 20 or 30 uh, dollars very uh, cheap one i think i used two of these over the years and it works quite well so the recognition is quite okay not too many mistakes but uh i lost the the padding of the head ear uh, ear stuff here so i had to find a replacement now there is a third option which i wanted to try when i realized that my headset is not working properly or not was not very comfortable anymore and these are like table microphones like this one here this is the one i use currently to record this youtube video this is kind of like a semi-professional microphone and has great audio quality however for voice recognition it's too sensitive like way too sensitive like if some you know my children are yelling outside of my office it tries to kind of like write things down with the sensitivity it has so it's not really feasible although the quality is probably uh, best of all of that and it's also not a dedicated speech recognition microphone and this is when i realized okay it's not just about the quality of the microphone it has to be probably a you know a dedicated microphone for voice recognition and that's when i was looking around and in the internet what are the solutions that would fit my needs and this is when i came up with the idea to actually go for a wireless headset and that's the one that I'm currently using. This was kindly provided to me by Philips. Uh, it's Philips Speech One. And now I will show you, you know, a little bit more about this headset and why I think it's a great idea for a, a teleology or home office setup just like this. So you have both hands free, no cluttering cables. You can just work around. You can even if I have to answer the door, if some you know uh, Amazon drivers bring a package, I can just quickly run down. I don't even have to take it off. I know if I want to go for a coffee in the kitchen, I just leave it on. So no putting stuff down, no cable, etc. So really the best of both worlds. <clears throat> 
So if you want to have a more in-depth look on the design and everything like that, I made a unboxing video of that microphone when I first took it out. So go check it out. You will find the link somewhere up here. Uh, it's a separate video just to make this video not too long. So before we move on, just a couple of things. First, give the video a like if you like it and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join our free MSK community, go check the link in the description down below or here uh, on the screen. This is a free online community where we learn MSK radiology together. I post videos there that are not available on YouTube. It's free to join, no obligation. You don't even have to do an account. It's totally open for everybody and you can also invite your uh, friends. There are some exclusive lectures there as well. For that, you would need an account, but it's again, it's completely free to use. So go check it out. And now let's move on with this video. So what we do now is I want to record a, a sentence with this different microphone so that you can hear you know, how they record sound differently and why that might influence the voice recognition. So let me just uh, do that. So now in this part of the video, I'm actually recording with the microphone from my Sennheiser PC7 microphone. And you might or might not hear a difference depending on whether you have a good headset yourself uh, or quality to listen to this. But let's uh, switch it out with uh, another device. So this is now a recording with the actual speech mic handheld device. And you can see I have to use a cable for this. There are also wireless options for this one here, but I have just this one here. I never really use it. I hope this actually even records. We'll see that later in the video. So this is now a recording with the speech one headset and you might hear a difference here as well. I actually haven't even listened to what I record in this one myself with a proper audio channel because normally I have this headset on here, but we'll come to that here in a second. So for me, the clear winner and the absolute best solution, if you are looking to upgrade your workstation setup or home office for reporting is the Philips Speech One. I've been using it now for a couple of weeks really, and I'm really, really happy with it. It's super comfortable because of all of the padding. It's light, it's not too heavy. The recognition compared to my old headset is actually much improved. And also when the kids are screaming around, it's not picking up much because it's a dedicated uh, microphone for voice recognition. So somehow, I don't know how they do it, but you know, it kind of like filters out the background noise much better than for example, something like this and even then uh, my other PC7 headset. So I'm very happy with this one here. And you know, battery is not a problem. I can easily go to one or two days with, without uh, you know, recharging. I never had to recharge it or was not able to report and I use it all day long. And the other thing, and that's what you saw, you know, this station here where I can just put it on. It's magnetic. It's super comfortable. I just put it on, you know, it looks nice. Uh, it's just here at the back of my desk. All good. And it has an antenna where you can walk around and the range is quite good. So I can go to the lower floor. It still, you know, works or I can hear, but not that that's obviously necessary. Uh, but certainly within the office, I can walk around and there's no problem. But yeah, that's not really the issue. Yeah, so there is one disadvantage though, and I also have to talk about this, that I'm not so happy about, but it's not a, a big deal for work. The quality of the speaker here is actually really bad. And let me just try to illustrate that um, here in a second. So now I will play a video and the sound will come out of this speaker and I will put it on my microphone and maybe you will be able to hear the, the quality that's coming out of it. Probably not a fair technical comparison, but let me just try that here with this. Okay, so this is now sound coming out of this here. Winner and the absolute best solution if you are looking to upgrade your workstation setup or home office for reporting is the Philips speech. So you probably heard that it's very shallow. There is no depth to the sound. It's not, you know, feasible to listen to music with that. You know, it's even if you make a call, it, it feels very artificial. I don't really like that sound. So if they if they need something to improve on this device, it's clearly the quality that's coming out of the speaker. But since we are not listening to stuff, we are actually reporting stuff ourselves, it's not a big deal. And you know, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, when it comes to price, it's uh, probably it's quite expensive. 
um, depending on where you buy it, a couple of hundred dollars. But it's certainly worth an invest, you know, the invest uh, investment. And it's also not much you know, like more expensive than something like this. We kind of look at this here right on the homepage. So this is the official dictation philips.com homepage where you can uh, find more about the technical specs, etc. So this is uh, under desktop dictation and this is the one that I showed you today, speech one. And you can see it's 415 pounds in the UK. So it's not cheap by any means, but it really has the best uh, result for me while working. It's super easy to wear. And this is really kind of like true. So it's not just some marketing stuff here. And I'm very, very happy with the device. And thanks again for Philips for providing me with this device. And when you compare the other solutions here, the wireless handheld device is not much cheaper. You know, it's just 20, uh, 30 pounds less. Um, but yeah, it has the disadvantage. And this is the wireless one as well with, with having your hand occupied. It's kind of like ridiculous. And then the other ones with the cable, so it's a little bit cheaper. But yeah, and, and all of that other stuff here, nobody needs something like this. It's 2023 at least. Okay, anyways. So yeah, if you want to upgrade, I can highly recommend this. Uh, it's totally great. And I'll put a link in the description down below. Maybe I'm able to find an affiliate link. So if you buy it over that link that I provide down below, I might get a little commission, just a little heads up. Maybe I'm not able to do this because that would be the first time I actually do something like this. Anyway. So that's it for today. If you need a new headset, now you know which one to go for. I can highly recommend this. And with that, that's it. See you next time. Bye-bye.